Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today we have DreamWorks Animation, a set of six awesome looking toys released by Wendy's here in 2014. Let's get them opened up and have a little fun. First up in the set, we have Boulder Bowling Shrek. Now this, I like, this is really cool. So here is Shrek standing at approximately four inches tall. And you can see he's pre-posed like this and his arms are back and they're actually spring-loaded. So you put this little bowling ball made out of a rock, if you will, but it's actually made of plastic. And what I find interesting here is this actually opens up, so I'm assuming you can probably store the accessories in there. And what you do, and we'll try to get this closed, and there we go. So what you do is you take the ball and you place it in Shrek's arms, just like so. And he comes with little bowling pins that are cut out. So there's six all together, but I only use three just for the review. So you can see the little stands there, three more pins. Set that off to the side. Here are the pins. You can see they just slide right into the bottom. And all you do is you set these up just like so. And what you do is you hold the ball just like this in Shrek's arms. And like I said, it is spring loaded. So what you do is you hold it back just like so and try to knock the pins down. Holy cow, that is very powerful. Let's see what. <laughs> failing miserably come on you can do it oh there we go <laughs> so there you go shrek next up in the set we have poe's noodle catch now this is really fun so it comes in three pieces here so you have poe here in the handle with a string attached and that actually looks like a big thing of string or noodles if you will and then down here you take this piece right here and this is the actual base you tab that on just like this and then you take this part here which is actually a bowl you can see the little bowl of noodles there with the chopsticks and you place it on here and it tabs in just like that locks into place very simple and then all you do is you take it and you try to swing it let's see if we can pan up here try to swing it up and try to land the ball in the bowl let's see if we can do this ready <laughs> this is this is gonna be tough all right <laughs> and all right see this is really tricky oh so close let's try this one more time ready here we go. And, oh, this is a lot harder than you think. <laughs> oh, score. Next up, we have Alex's Dance Off Challenge. Now, this is kind of neat. So, sadly, I'm not going to dance for you guys. <laughs> but this comes in four different pieces here. So, you have the base. So, you take Alex right here and you peg him on and pop him in just like so. It's a kind of a weighted base. It's for spinning him around just like that. And here is the scorecard. And here is the other sheet. This is actually... The page where you spin Alex on. So you got the different things here. Bob your head, twist, freestyle, jump, moonwalk, spin, freestyle. And on the back it reads, here we'll read the instructions. Do you think you can dance? Pick a judge and contestants and then spin Alex to start the game. When Alex stops spinning, contestants perform the dance moves that his paw points to. And the judge marks it on the dance card as the first move. With each spin, a new move is added and the dancers must remember to repeat the dance moves in order. If the contestants can't repeat them in order, then they are out, as ruled by the judge. Who can remember the most dance moves in a row? So very simple stuff. So you flip this over, just like so. You place Alex right here. You give him a spin. And wherever he lands, on the robot, for example, then you come here, you mark off the robot, and then do the robot dance. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that for you. We can do the robot do the rule and next up in the set we have belts silly charades here are the instructions first pick a creature combination from the card by sliding the card in the sleeve to select two animal names do not show your card to the others then spin the belt timer and begin your charades act and sound like the combined creature and have others guess what you are before belt stops spinning if they guess correctly you win a point and spin again if not you lose your turn the first player to score five points wins this is great seems like all kinds of fun so here is the card so that's kind of nice and here are all the animals here and then here's the other piece of the card we slide this in just like so slide it into the slot oh this is gonna be tricky here because it's kind of warped but we can kind of pull that out let's see if we can get my finger in there and slide it there we go all right so there you go so you would take it and go that one is a puppy frog <laughs> That's great, puppy frog. And here is a parrot and a lion. <laughs> Can you imagine? Somehow I'm picturing these two animals combined as the one animal in my head. An elephant giraffe. Now that could be interesting, actually. So here's the belt, little mini belt thing. <laughs> here is the spinning base. What you do is you just plug this in. If we can get it in there. Holy cow, this is tight. And 
Wow, it's not going in. So you might need some help from the parents. This is really tough. There we go. And you can see down here has a little point for spinning, and this is like a timer. So you spin it, and then you have to act out what you see here. So you have to act like an elephant and a giraffe, and then your friends have to guess. Yeah, this game, this game can be really fun, actually. And next up in the set is the Feline Flip Puss in Boots. Do cats always land on their feet? Flip Puss in Boots head over heels to see if you can help him stick the landing. See the diagram. So it shows you how to do that right here. Play together to see who can make him land on the target for the most points. So flip this over. Check it out. There is the target. And it comes with four pieces here. So what you do is you place this here and peg this in just like this. Then you take Puss in Boots. Check him out. Looking kind of cool. Peg him in just like so. And here is the launcher or catapult, if you will. And what you do is you set this over here, I'm assuming. Let's see. And let's read the diagram and make sure. So we set this like this. Okay, so he goes backwards. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's see if we can land it on the three. You ready? Here we go. Oh, that's pretty far. Let's try again. And not so hard this time. Let's try it. Ready? Oh, this is harder than it looks. One more time. <laughs> that was an epic fail. Let's see. <laughs> no, I'm not, not hitting it hard enough. One more. And are you kidding? Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Score. And last up in the set is Skipper's Mission Dossier. This is really cool. Top secret Skipper's Mission Dossier. Your family mission. Join Skipper, Kowalski, Private, and Rico as they embark on many of their top secret spy missions together. Use the green and blue revealers to make sure that the penguins have accomplished each mission. So you open this up and inside here's all kinds of little activities. So you have the, the two little... Uh, decoders if you will as you have a blue one and a green one which is really neat we'll hold on to the green one here and then let's see what is this so we have a undercover mission okay so you open this up just like this use your blue revealer activities on these pages so we will use the blue one here you can kind of see what's happening here and so you have the skipper's ex escape plan. Hello, skipper. Help skipper through the maze. This is really neat. Match the tracks. Undercover mission. Match the tiles to the secret image. This is lots of fun. Then on the back here, it says use the green revealer. So you would switch and grab this one here and hold it over these. This is awesome. Lots of fun activities here. And then right here, looks like we have a puzzle. So, you, oh, it's actually stickers. Oh, man, I love stickers. So you got all these stickers, and what you do is you take the stickers, you place them on here and piece together the secret image. This is awesome. Scavenger hunt there. And then, of course, on the back here, all the answers to all the puzzles and whatnot. This is just a great set right here. So there you have it, everybody. DreamWorks Animation. A set of six awesome activity sets released by Wendy's here in 2014. I can't recommend this enough. There's just a whole lot going on with this. The kiddos can spend hours playing with these toys. It's a complete win. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time. Hey, thanks for sticking it out till the end. I appreciate it. So for those of you who are still here with me, leave a comment down below and I will randomly pick somebody and send them their own DreamWorks animation set. All you got to do is leave a comment down below telling me who your favorite DreamWorks character is. Is it Poe? Is it Shrek? Is it Puss in Boots? Alex, it could be anybody from the DreamWorks cartoon movies. This is great, right? That's all you got to do. And in a couple weeks, I'll randomly select somebody from the comment section below and send them a message and let them know that they won their own set. Thanks, everybody.